The loss of Jean Grey is a tragedy. No one believed more deeply in the X-Men's struggle to promote understanding between mutants and humans. And while we may miss Jean as a friend, the world is going to miss her as the rarest type of champion there is. I wish there was additional time to mourn Ms. Grey's death. But from what was heard in Mephisto's realm, we have to get to Asgard quickly. To go to Asgard. Okay, so now in episode 28, we're going to start things off in Asgard. And Asgard's kind of a nice green place. Yeah, he unleashed hundreds of them. They overwhelmed the gods and literally tore the city apart. Then Doom came through afterwards, gathered up all the unconscious Asgardians, and made them prisoners. Not really. Doom's troops ran off in all directions after the attack. And he's not going to be making another army anytime soon. Since he's so there's a cutscene that would play here showing the conquest of Asgard. Um, unfortunately, you know, I had to cut it out. But, you know, Hank Pym uh, tells you what happened there. So, you know, we are, we're going to be working through... Um, Trying to liberate Asgard at the moment, and I know what you're getting at, but the X Man is dead. And fortunately for us, uh, Doom's army of super soldiers was kind of a one-shot deal. I'm not saying we won't run into those guys, but for the most part, we're not going to have to worry about them too much. Hello, Vision. It's good to see you. And no, Vision is still not going to do anything more than give us advice. Because of his extreme powers, he is required to rest an entire day once a year in Odin's sleep. Yes, Thor is the son of Odin, as are Vidar and Loki. Although Loki was his son by battle, not blood. This is Asgard, a small planetary body in an alternate dimension. It is filled with mystical beings and consists of nine separate worlds, which are joined by special portals. Asgard consists of six major races, the human-like gods, the dwarves, trolls, demons, giants, and elves. Each lay claim to a different world. As young adults, Lady Sif and Thor were very close. This, of course, angered Loki, so he cut off her golden hair and replaced it with hair as black as night, called Strands of Nought. Yes, but Sif has been long perplexed by Thor's affection for Earth. She wonders why a god would waste his time worrying about lesser beings. I am pleased to help. All right. Well, now we've talked to Vision, found out what he knows. Um... Yeah, there's going to be a fair amount of just the normal intel sort of work here, talking to the various people uh, that we can talk to. Welcome to Valhalla. I'm glad to see you. With so many Asgardians imprisoned, and with Odin out battling the Frost Giants, Sif is now in charge. None of the gods are crazy about us being here. This is a sacred place to them. But they realize there's no choice in the matter. They need our help. There's some theories, but nothing solid yet. Look, right now all we've got are guesses, and none of them make sense. So I'm not saying anything until we have solid facts. You're welcome. I am very sorry to hear about the death of Jean Grey. I am sure you did everything you could. I would think so. The infinity vortex she was thrown into would have killed her instantly. It is the mystical equivalent of a black hole, warping the very fabric of space and time. Some say it can be used as a portal to other dimensions, but that has never been proven. Not well, I am afraid. The X-Men are a tightly knit group. Worst of all, her boyfriend Cyclops has gone missing. Nightcrawler blames himself for Miss Grey's death. He believes he should have been the one to die. It was no trouble at all. Hmm. 
All right, and we definitely have this little guy running around. Uh, so he might be worth talking to because he seems different. Ah, we found more quizzes. Okay, so... I'm going to... basically uh, leave you with the quiz for a while, and then I'll come back when the quiz is completed. You can see the places I went wrong, and there are several.
All right, now that the quiz business is taken care of, let's uh, continue uh, looking for important people to talk to and sort of look at as Nick Fury is stuck walking in the same place over and over again. Eh, whatever floats your boat, Nick. So these are uh, portals that go to different worlds. Uh, in the Nine Realms, except for Midgard, which I think you need the Bifrost Bridge uh, to get to. This is the uh, building of Valhalla. They're not letting us in right now, and there is Lady Sif, currently in charge. And, aha! We have finally run down Hermod. Yep. Then we lost him. Alright, we need to go run down Hermod again. Now, he does run a particular route through the area. So, if we can just find it... Yep. Okay, he ducked away from us. There we go. Greetings, human. My name is Hermod, and I bring bad news. The Bifrost Bridge is under attack by the Wrecking Crew. I would ask that you travel across the bridge and open the gate to Midgard. Then additional reinforcements will be able to join us. They are a group of villains led by a human named Wrecker. He acquired Asgardian powers when he was mistaken for Loki. Yes, as do his cohorts. They have plagued Thor and Asgard many times over the years. I am Hermod, the fleetest of foot in all of Asgard. Because of my speed, I sometimes act as a messenger for Odin. Yes, I lived there for a short time because of a spell Odin cast. The gods were sent to Earth and given human identities. Certainly. Alright, so that gives us uh, one of our missions, which is that we can go and um, attack the wrecking crew. liberate the Bifrost Bridge and open up the path passageway to Earth and bring help from there. You would think that would mean like more shield agents and things like that, but I think it actually means Asgardians who are on vacation. Oh well. Okay, there's another um, portal. And that looks like somewhere where we're going to have to go here in a sec. But before we get done, let's go ahead and double check, make sure there's nothing else left that we need to do over here. Yeah, so this is this is this will take us to the Bifrost bridge area, and that's where we'll be, we will be taking on the uh, the wrecking crew. Now we're getting sucked through the portal. My friends, these are indeed dark times. The masters of evil have overwhelmed the army of Asgard, and the only path for reinforcements has been closed off to us, the Bifrost Bridge. Isn't that how your people travel back and forth between Earth and Asgard? Aye. A great many warriors would return, if only the path were open. How did Doom manage to block off Bifrost? The gate at the end closest to Earth has been closed and barred. It can only be opened from our side. But I would warn you, the Wrecking Crew is guarding the gate. The Wrecking Crew? <laughs> Ooh, pardon me for not being scared. I gotta agree with Webhead here. How bad can these jokers be? The Wrecking Crew is not to be taken lightly. They are humans who were mistakenly granted the powers of one of my people. More than once, they have sorely tested my powers. They almost beat you? Then we'd better be on our guard. They are formidable opponents, but that is not all. Loki has struck a bargain with Hela, the goddess of death. Her minions will also seek to stop us. So we're fighting gods and the undead. Right. Anyone else nervous about our odds here? We must succeed. 
Without those additional forces, there is little hope for Asgard. Not to worry, Thor. We'll get those gates open. I thank you, my friends. Let us battle on to victory!